good to that see I you. Will. Oh, good well, to so, be seen, <gasps> sweet girl. Good to see you, you again. I know, I know. And I want you to know, George and I have been texting like furiously for a couple days, and he was like, "I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there." But they sent him to do an Avenger story across the street, and I said, "You know, I mean, my my cowgirl and I." You know, I'll take care of her. God bless you. I, I adore him, and I, I'm sorry he's not here, but I'm glad he's doing something interesting. What the heck? <laughs> and he's just across the street. I mean, doesn't that get your goat? Well, what really gets my goat is how could the city give two permits on an evening like this for the greatest event for Hollywood and then an opening of a movie on the same block? When I got my star which is right here in front of the box office at, at Grauman's Chinese. The permit made a mistake and issued a permit for Tiger Woods to do a stunt where he hit a golf ball from right in front of Grauman's Chinese down the street. And I thought, he thought that those thousands of people that were gathered to cheer me on were for him and I thought well he's going to be gracious and come over and say hello congratulations whether he knew me or not right he never did oh, oh tiger you owe me one <laughs> Them's fighting words. Ah, uh, they are. <laughs> you know, I don't think he knows you know how to shoot and, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll put your aim up against his aim any day of the week. Bless you. You know, I, I learned to shoot and handle a gun thanks to the cowboys and all the westerns that I did. And they taught me how to get on and off a horse. They taught me how to twirl a gun and shoot. And uh, I rather enjoy it. To this day, I still like guns. You know, and you know my great love for all those Western stunt men, and it's like it's Pat Buttram that introduced us years ago. Isn't he still the funniest human being that God put on this earth? He made me laugh no matter what he said or what he did. Yeah. You know, now how excited are you to be here this year? I mean, this is the, as they're calling it, the Divine Nine. Oh, is it? Okay, I was here last year, and I also did the cruise, which was wonderful, one of the cruises. And to me, just coming to anything that smacks of old Hollywood is kind of wonderful. And thank God TCM cares and knows that audiences care for old Hollywood, all the stories that go with it, all the personal kind of tidbits that we hear on TCM about the stars. I sort of feel like I'm the only one left that still knew all those people, you know. And uh, it, it's, a, a, it's a great experience for me. And I, honest to God, the only reason to have uh, cable television is so that I can get TCM. That's what I watch. That's the only reason that I pay for the cable upgrade is to get TCM. Bless you, child. <laughs> and as many films as I watch a year. Last year I screened 1,052 films of new films, but I still find time for TCM. Seeing that many films, I should not be paying a cable upgrade. But yeah, You're absolutely right. They uh, should be paying you but, for him. But I have to. I have to, just to get TCM. Do. Well, the old movies are still, to me, the beautiful movies. There are some very, very nice and wonderful current movies. But overall, I still say the story, the way it was shot, the tender care that was given to every thought that was expressed on the screen, was so much more important than right now. Big and loud and booming doesn't make it great. That's right. That's right. How's that how's that partner in crime of yours back there? He is doing very well. Unfortunately, he had a stroke just before Christmas, uh, which hasn't affected anything physically, thank God, except he's lost a lot of weight. Um, sometimes the mental gears don't quite mesh quite as well, but he's working at it, and I figure with time and God's help, we'll be okay. And a lot more travel. Oh, yes. That has to be part of my life always. Uh, there are still a few places in this world I haven't seen. I've not done a safari in Africa, which I would like very much to do. And I haven't done inside China. I'm not sure if I want to do that. I don't like communist countries. Mm -hmm. I don't like 
the way you're treated. I don't like the feeling you get. I don't like the oppression of the people. But um, China has such a magnificent history that you kind of maybe have to overlook it and say, oh, well, open your doors. I'm opening my heart. <laughs> Go do the safari first. Okay, will do. Oh, Ruta, thank you as I'm always. So happy. Oh. <laughs> To be with you, my darling friend. Always. Thank always. you for being such a good friend to our friend George Pinocchio oh. as well. I love George. And thank you for being a friend to film. Oh, thank you, Ruda. Love you all. Love your viewers. Bye for now. <laughs>